Welcome to One Sip No Rules. I'm your grocery store sommelier, Big Bob Dylan. This week we are tasting a 2017 Justin Cabernet Sauvignon from Paso Robles. Weird pronunciation there. You can see it's spelled R-O-B-L-E-S and you kind of just want to say Paso Robles, which kind of rolls off and it might be the way everywhere in the world says that word, but the locals call it Robles, kind of like a town just north of where we are in Jupiter, Florida, in Jensen Beach, a little area called Rio, spelled R-I-O. You say Rio to someone in that area and they're like, damn, it's Rio, boy. And you know, no reason to make think the locals upset. I decided a long time ago, with this area in California, whenever I'm talking about these wines, it's just say Paso, leave it, leave it at that. Paso is known for supple, powerful, fruit-driven wines. You can find really great quality wines at a discount compared to Napa Valley. This is one of the areas, my go-to area, for uh, looking for Cabernet Sauvignon in grocery stores, Paso Robles, and Washington State. You can usually find really great Cabernets, $20. Comparable wine in Napa Valley would be around 40 or so. So um, let's see where, where we are here. Dark purple in the glass, lighter ruby rim. On the nose, ripe black and red cherries, allspice, black licorice, menthol. Nice start. So this is where those Burl Babe barrel wines were last week. On the nose, smelled really similar, but then when you tasted it up front, powerful, and then just finished very, very weak, very disappointing, kind of like putting, those wines kind of like putting makeup on a pig. It's still a pig, you know, what are you, what are you, what are you gonna do? So let's see how this, how this compares. These wines are similar in price, and those wines weren't, weren't impressive. I'm not sure why they're $20. Yeah, dry, full-bodied, black cherry, cassis, cocoa, clove. Slight menthol flavors, kind of like tobacco with a minty taste. Really nice, persistent finish. Really shows its quality there with that, with that longer finish. Really nice balance between old world elegance, new world power. Uh, this wine's gonna score pretty good. It's really the first wine I've tasted that I like. And uh, this wine is 8.2. So that's setting the bar right now, highest rated wine we've, we've tasted here. I buy this wine full retail up to about $25. Anywhere over that is over retail and um, probably shouldn't shop at that place. But uh, versatile wine. Goes with steak, burgers, chicken piccata, lamb, whatever. It's, it's, it's really nice. If you're heading to a wine connoisseur's house, I think you could feel comfortable about grabbing this wine, especially if you had to stop at a grocery store and you had no other choice. The, the, the connoisseur would be, would be happy with this wine and um, you, you, you look pretty knowledgeable. Really like the wine. 8.2 and I just want to talk about uh, what I do for a living right now I'm out of the wine business and I run a uh, apparel company online run the social media and I print and make the shirts this is the design we just came up with social distance distancing all-time champ no uh, I wasn't the model for the Bigfoot there but um, I can make this shirt for you. This is how we support myself so I could buy more wine, make more reviews, save you some money. We can make this shirt $20 shipped anywhere in the country. We're doing it on a really great butter soft CVC cotton poly blend. Doing it in force green like this or navy blue. $20 that's shipped anywhere. Just have to um, PayPal to sales at fitsyou.com and send the $20 in PayPal and give me the information, your size, the color you'd like, male or female, and your shipping address and we'll get it shipped out in no time and that'll help me 
grab more wines and do more reviews and keep me employed for the time being. Thank you. And um, until next week, cheers.